Tonight, the Wolverines of Utah Valley entertain North Dakota in a Great West Conference matchup. The last time these two teams played, they went four overtimes before the Wolverines won it. Tonight, we expect more of the same. Stay tuned. It's coming your way right here on UVU TV. Swarbrick, his defender, hits the deck. Swarbrick jumps off the Hunsaker. Long three, got it! And here he's going to take the jumper from way out the top and bury the long two. It's basketball time in Utah Valley. It's a Saturday Night Live special coming to you from Orem, Utah tonight as the Wolverines from Utah Valley entertain the Fighting Sioux from North Dakota. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jim McCullough. This is Matt Peterson. We've got a good one for you tonight. Two of the top three teams in the Great West Conference going head-to-head. -head. Matt, nothing you can ask for any better than this one tonight. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than tonight's game. If we take a look at the standings here, Wolverines sitting on top at 8-1. They're on a streak in conference play, and we see North Dakota not too far behind with a record of 5-2. and two. So this is a crucial conference game for both teams, more specifically for the Wolverines, as they already came away with a victory. They need to finish off North Dakota this year. Yeah, these two teams played each other back on January 20th up in North Dakota. They went four overtimes before the Wolverines won that one by 11 points. So you would think they're pretty evenly balanced, but when you look at the stat sheet, the comparison, it kind of looks like all in favor of UVU. Yeah, I mean, you definitely see the Wolverines have the advantage in points per game and field goals and three point and free throw. Uh, averaging one more turnover per game as, as well as they're the number one rebounding team as we talked about so often. So, But as they say, Jim, that's why they play the game. Those stats do not matter in that four overtime game you know, was, was validating that fact. Yeah, we'll hope we don't go four tonight. <laughs> now, both these teams come in here red hot. North Dakota's won five out of six. Meanwhile, the Wolverines have won six out of seven, including Thursday night, a very impressive victory over South Dakota. Yeah, I think the Wolverines came out and played very well in that game, offensively and defensively. I think it was a total team effort. I, I look for that same effort tonight, and they're going to have to give it if they're going to come away with a victory. Wolverines won that one pretty handily by 15 points, a game that a lot of folks thought was going to be a lot closer. Maybe they'll do the same thing tonight. I know you love to pick the key players of the game and talk about them throughout the game. Who you got going into this one? Yeah, we, we love talking about the key players, and we, we pay attention to the game. Tonight we've got Troy Huff. Uh, he's going to be a key player for North Dakota as well as Patrick Mitchell, who's a 6'8 guard. So we'll see how he plays into this game and see how the Wolverines to, uh, use their defense against those two players. And as far as Utah Valley, who are you looking for tonight? Yeah, I'm looking for a couple players. I'm looking at Ben Aird. He came off a monster game against South Dakota and played excellent. See if he can put together back-to-back -to -back games here, and as well as Holton Hunsaker. I think uh, I've noticed, Jim, that when, the, when Holton plays well at the point guard position, the whole team generally plays well. So I think if he comes out, establishes energy to go, I think Wolverines will be great. All right, we're going to hold you that tonight. All right, now, you have studied both these teams. Give us the keys to victory for both teams. Yeah, let's take a look at the, the Wolverines first off. Uh, they had some trouble in that last game against South Dakota in their transition defense. I think that's going to be a very key tonight. Uh, quality starts. What we mean by that is getting off to good starts in the first half and the second half, as well as interior play. Incredible games last from Ben Aird, Geddes Robinson, and Justin Baker. They're going to have to continue that tonight. Uh, for North Dakota, defending the perimeter is going to be very key for them as well as their three-point shooting, and they can't put the Wolverines on the foul line here as we know how good of a free-throw shooting team the Wolverines are. Exactly, and if you don't know, we'll talk about it all throughout the game. We're going to take a break, back with more pregame show coming up from Costa Vida, opening lineups, opening tip. Uh, our radio listeners will join us. Stay tuned. It's all coming up here next on UVU TV.
tonight's, tonight's broadcast brought to you by Pepsi. Every generation refreshes the world. By Utah Community Credit Union, a proud sponsor of Wolverine Athletics and the official sponsor of the UVU student section, The Mall. By Pinnacle Security, your life secure. Get a Pinnacle Security system today at PinnacleSecurity.com. And our pregame show brought to you by Costa Vida. Costa Vida, eat well, live inspired. Nicely done. Welcome back to the UCCU Center. Jim McCall along with Matt Peterson. We're getting set for our opening tip here in this Great West Conference matchup between the Fighting Sioux of North Dakota and the Wolverines from Utah Valley. Utah Valley number one in the Great West Conference right now with an eight and one record. North Dakota hot on their heels with a five and two conference record. Starting liners for North Dakota. Four freshmen and a junior. Troy Huff, a freshman, 11.8 a game. Jamal Webb, another freshman at guard, nine points a game. Brandon Brecky. A redshirt freshman from Grand, East Grand Forks, Minnesota, averaging six points a game. Josh Schuler, a guard, redshirt freshman, Urbana, Ohio, 9.6 a game. And Patrick Mitchell, inside six foot eight. Mitchell averaging 10 and a half points a game and a team high six rebounds a game. Also leads the conference with 3.7 blocks a game. All right, our TV viewers are going to see something pretty cool as they turn off the lights here to introduce the starting lineups from the Wolverines. Our radio listeners also with us. Isaiah Williams, 17 points, seven a game. A junior from Chicago gets the start of guard, 6-1. Hun Holton Hunsaker, 11.2 a game. He's six foot tall. He's a freshman from North Salt Lake City, Utah. The only senior starter, Jordan Swarbrick, 12 points a game. He's from El Dorado, California, six foot seven. Inside, there's Geddes Robinson, 9.1 a game. Conference's leading rebounder at 9.3. He's only 6'5", a junior from Bronx, New York. And Big Ben Aird rounds out the starting lineup. Big Ben, 6'9", true freshman from Bountiful, Utah, averaging 11 points a game, third in the conference, and rebounding at 7.3. Williams, Hunsaker, Swarbrick, Robinson, and Aird. Together, they're all averaging 77.3 a game. That's best for 24th in the nation coached of course by coach dick hunsaker in his ninth season here at uvu coach hunsaker 164 wins 96 losses in his career here at uvu on, a, on his career at several stops 331 victories for coach hunsaker meanwhile north dakota brian jones their head coach in his fifth season at north dakota they were 8 and 23 last year brian jones 63 and 78 overall the Fighting Sioux of North Dakota come in here averaging 68 points a game. They kind of like low scoring games. North Dakota will be wearing their road black jerseys and trunks, shooting camera right. Wolverines counter in their home whites. Wolverines play well at home. They are 11 and two wearing these white jerseys. White jerseys, white trunks, shooting camera left. It'll be Ben Air jumping center against North Dakota's Patrick Mitchell. Mitchell 6'8", Ben Air 6'9". Freshman going up against the only junior on the floor for North Dakota. Two pretty young teams, and North Dakota controls the opening tip. We are underway here at the UCCU Center. Jamal Webb has it. Well, working left side over to Shuler. Comes to the top, dishes off. That's Mitchell, goes inside, too hard. Rebound comes down to Brecky, kicks it back out. North Dakota on the drive now. That's Webb, and a whistle inside. That one's going to get called against Holton Hunsaker, his first, team's first. North Dakota made no bones about it. They really sort of wanted to get UVU's big men in foul trouble early. Well, on that very first possession, I think this is going to be a tough matchup for Geddes Robinson because on that first matchup, he was required to guard Patrick Mitchell, who's a, who's a 6'8" guard who's listed as a 6'8 guard and you know this is going to be another one of the keys to the game to, to look at is the dribble penetration that the guards for North Dakota get uh, that has always been an Achilles heel for the Wolverines this season so see how they adjust and try and keep the guards from North Dakota out of the paint he makes the back end of two Wolverines turn it over coming back the other way one nothing North Dakota played 38 seconds here at the UCCU Center on the drive Josh Schuler. 
And North Dakota jumps out quickly. 3 0. And Dick Hunsaker has seen enough of that stuff. Wait, uh, what? 43 seconds, and he calls his first time out. We'll keep this one here. Analyze what's going on here for me, Mr. Analyst. Yeah, let's rewind back to South Dakota on Thursday night. Remember how we talked so much about how the big guy for uh, for South Dakota would just sit out the, at the top of the key and sets good, uh, you know, really good screens to free up the guards. And that's exactly what's happened on the first couple of possessions here. They're just setting picks on the ball. They're just running over, setting a nice screen, and guards are getting into the middle of the paint. Holton was forced to foul on that last one. Isaiah Williams got picked off on a screen there, and Schuler got right into the middle of the paint. So, I mean, that's definitely something that the Wolverines have to adjust to, and I think that's why Coach Sunsaker called that timeout because those screens are just are very good screens and, and too easy to come off of. Those were highlights from Thursday night. Meanwhile, back to live action here on Saturday night, North Dakota against Utah Valley. Stolen away. UVU getting a little sloppy on the drive. That's tough. And it's 5-0. Wolverines down early. What a difference in the start between South Dakota on Thursday and this one. What was one of our what was one of our keys to the game? Quality starts. This is not a quality start for the Wolverines. They've looked sloppy. They haven't come out with, with energy at all. So this doesn't bowl well for them early on because they have they've had a horrible start. Hunsaker with it, deep left corner over to Swarbrick. Just not the same spring in their step tonight. Isaiah's got it. Up top to Hunsaker. He'll jump a three. No good. Rebound North Dakota. You know, North Dakota looks like they're they're very focused on tonight's game. They've come out and executed once again another high pick. Shula coming off of it at the top of the key. Gives over to Webb. Goes over to the right side to Huff and a whistle away from the basketball inside. Going to go against North Dakota. Then we're going to go against Brandon Brecky, one of those Fab Four freshmen that start. 18 minutes, 17 seconds left here in the first half for our radio listeners. Wolverines trail 5 nothing. We'll see the replay here. Watch Brecky trying to post up on Holton. Gets a little bit aggressive. Looks like the Holton and Ben switched up the screen. Holton got caught on Brecky, but nice job of fighting and not giving up any easy position. Wolverines have only taken one shot. That was Hunsaker's three. He missed it. Here's another one from Isaiah. He missed that one, and rebound comes down to North Dakota. Wolverines just one and done on both their possessions. North Dakota working it down low. Patrick Mitchell, shot blocked by air. Out of bounds, but it will belong to North Dakota. Big Ben Aird leads this team in block shots. 33 on the season, now make it 34. And this is where Ben can have a very big effect on this game as Isaiah was forced to guard Patrick Mitchell, needed help. Ben realized that and came over for the block. Great, great uh, defense there from Ben. Ball slapped away on the inbounds play. It will still belong to North Dakota. 21 seconds on the shot clock for the Fighting Sioux. 17.48 to play, first half. 5 nothing. Wolverines down to North Dakota. Schuler takes a long jumper outside. No good. Rebound comes down to Swarbrick of UVU. North Dakota, 2 of 5 shooting. 0 for 2. 0 for 3 now for the Wolverines. Isaiah missed another one. Out of bounds off North Dakota. You know, different type of game tonight here. You, we, we mentioned so much at one point in that first 10 minutes or so. Wolverines were 8 of 13 against South Dakota from the three-point line. They've gone cold tonight. They need to get an easy basket to get them going. Looks like they're looking for somebody. Finally gets it into Robinson. Back to Holton. They'll bring it out here in front of us. Right side. Right side. Lost the handle. That's because he was fouled. They'll call the foul inside on Jamal Webb. His first team's second against North Dakota. A flat start surprise you, Matt Peterson? Well, a little bit. I mean, I think that seeing how they came out in the last couple of games, this reminds me of more of the start they had against Texas Pan America, where they really kind of struggled offensively to get going. And then the last game against South Dakota, they played great. So this is surprising to me. It was, you know, I, I thought that their offense, they had a great rhythm in that last game, and I thought for sure they were going to continue it tonight. Wolverines 0 for 3, and they turn it over. Gettys Robinson had the bounce pass inside, go off his kneecap, out of bounds. Isn't it amazing how it can be that way, though? I mean, two nights ago, Wolverines come out, shoot the lights out of it to start the game off. And here, they're struggling to even get a shot out. Jamal Webb with it from North Dakota. He'll cycle it around to the right side to Huff. Take the three, driving against Swarbrick. And up and in, 7-0. 
We played three minutes. Wolverines haven't scored. They've missed all three of their shots from the floor, and all three of them have been from three-point land. Ben Ayer is out top. Gives it over to Swarbrick. Looks inside. Gets it into Getty Robinson. This is back out to Holton. And missed Holton and threw it away. Turnover. Wolverines, my goodness gracious, already with four turnovers here in the first three minutes and 20 seconds of this game. We go back to the key. They had to get off to a quick start and a quality start. And you know, the, as you said, they've got more turnovers, it seems, than, than field goals. We see the ball get into uh, Gettys Robinson here. Holton coming off, trying to spot up, but just overran it there. North Dakota possession, shooting camera right. Josh Hewler with it. Baseline drive, reverse layup, good. Oh, they're just making it look easy now. 9 nothing. Wolverines uh, have yet to come out of the locker room. And their game plan is simple. North Dakota's is set screens and drive to the basket. That's all that they're doing on the offensive end. The Wolverines can't stop it. Justin Baker checked in for Gettys Robinson following that last turnover. Swarbrick has it. He'll go in the lane. Shot off the glass too hard. And ball on the floor. Picked up North Dakota. Here they come. Two on two. Schuler's got it. Gives it back over to Anderson. He'll jump it. Three and miss it. Swarbrick for the Wolverines with possession. He'll go in the lane, force up the shot, draw the foul on the way to the hoop. Conference's leading free throw shooter will be there to shoot two. That brings us to our first timeout. Just under 16 minutes to play. Wolverines trailing nine to nothing. We'll take a 60 second break. Back in 60 here on the Wolverine Sports Network. Dr. John is a real UVU professor, not an actor. So to tell his story, we hired a UVU student. Knowledge-based edification increases executive functioning in the frontal lobes. Yo, dude, UVU is more than an education. It's a life experience. Exposure to enhanced pedagogical approaches promotes neural activity in the limbic system. For sick education, get here and strap in. UVU facilitates the discovery of your personal Weltanschauung. What? Dude, you don't know everything yet. Utah Valley University. It's your university. Weltanschauung! Wolverines have missed their first four shots, their only four shots. Meanwhile, North Dakota, four of eight. And that's why North Dakota leads this one early, nine to nothing. Wolverines just starting as flat as they could be. A reminder, fans, Adidas is now the official outfitter of UVU Athletics. To check out Adidas Apparel, go to adidas.com. Wolverines, well, North Dakota shooting 50%. They put up eight shots, made four. You see the stat sheet, Wolverines shooting 0%. <laughs> I, I've yeah. never seen that four minutes into a game. Yeah, they've got as many turnovers as field goal attempts. I, I think the key here is to not panic. You've, you're barely five minutes into this game, not even. It, you're going to have a long game, but they've, they've got to get something going here, and I think it's very troublesome to see how they've come out on the defensive end, really more so than, uh, than on the offensive end. Jordan Swarbrick, 90% free throw shooter at the line. He's 14th in the nation in free throw shooting. And finally, the Wolverines break that scoreless gap. Nine to one. We played four minutes and nine seconds before they're able to get on the scoreboard. Second one on its way. And of course, Jinx. He missed it. Wolverines, one of the best free throw shooting teams in the nation. In fact, the free throws are what beat North Dakota. The Wolverines were hot. North Dakota couldn't hit anything up the air place. The rate we're going, North Dakota won't need to go to the free throw line. Anderson has it. Tried to work it inside and turned the ball over, so it'll belong to the Wolverines. Much better defensive possession there. Much better job of guarding the pick on the perimeter. I think that Justin Baker and Ben Air did a nice job of switching, realizing personnel there, and causing the turnover on the Aaron pass from Anderson. Swarbrick with it on the left wing. Feeds the twisting and turning. Isaiah will dip it out to Baker. He misses that shot. Wolverines 0 for 5 now. North Dakota possession. Still 9 to 1. Coming up on 15 minutes left. First half. Turnaround jumper. No good. That one coming from Derek Venter. Ben Aird pulled down the rebound. Inside he gives to Swarbrick over to Aird. Now to Baker. Back and in against Mitchell. 
Baker's got it. Bumps Mitchell once. Turns around. Glass. No. Rebound. North Dakota. North Dakota, eight rebounds. UVU, three. The nine to one is the amazing score. Wolverines have scored one point. We played five and a half minutes. And a foul inside. Going to go against Holton Hunsaker again. That's bad news. Holton Hunsaker for the Wolverines is their man. He touches the ball in every possession. He plays 33 minutes a game, and he goes to the bench. He two fouls at the 14-33 mark. And he was one of the keys, one of the key players of the game. And I mentioned how the Wolverines tend to play better when Holden plays well. Not, not a good sign here. But the good thing is, is we've got Kevin Woods coming into the game. He's going to have an opportunity to step up, step up for the team. Jumper outside from Anderson. Buries the three. 12 to 1. North Dakota. Lock up, man. Kevin Woods, 6-1 junior from Bloomington, Illinois, averaging a point and a half a game. Did not score against North Dakota at their place. Looks like he's going to get some quality minutes tonight, though. Missed several games this season with a broken finger on a shooting hand. Has it on the right wing. Gives over to Baker. Wolverine is playing a lot of perimeter. Isaiah with it. Seven seconds to shoot. They'll take it off the glass. I don't know if he meant to go off the glass, but it went. Wolverines' first basket of this game comes at the 13:45 mark to play first half. Six minutes and 15 seconds without scoring a basket to start with. It's 12 to three. Allard has it. Gives over to Clawson. Back over to Allard. North Dakota loves to get their bench into the game early. Battle starters getting some breathing already. Anderson has it. Lob pass inside. Stopped away by Air. Tracked down by North Dakota, though. Out front at the shot clock going off. Shot no good. And Wolverines come down with the rebound, but not before. Chris Clausen is going to be called for the foul on North Dakota. Nice rebound there, good effort there overall for the Wolverines. You know, we can focus on a couple of things that North Dakota is doing. It is simple. They are spreading the floor. They are trying to do dribble handoffs. They are trying to do picks on the ball. They are trying to get and spring their guards going to the basket. Pay attention to that. I mean, it's amazing how much of that they are doing, just doing those picks on the on the perimeter. And uh, you know, I think that the Wolverines have, have done a much better job here in the last couple minutes of solidifying their D. Woods with it. Back to Geddes Robinson, who's in the game. Sean Deadweiler also in there. Isaiah will take a three up top. Back rim too hard. And picked up by Aaron Anderson, five foot ten freshman from Minnesota, uh, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. North Dakota on the run. Ball kicked that time on the bounce pass. It'll belong to North Dakota. Twelve minutes, thirty-seven seconds left here in this first half. North Dakota will trigger baseline. Will get a shot blocked from behind. Brinkley went up with it. And Baker went up from behind and slammed it back down. And it belongs to the Wolverines. An incredible defensive effort there from Justin Baker. Watch him just come across the lane. Brinkley didn't have a, a chance of getting that ball up on the glass. Great defensive effort there from, uh, from Justin hustling down the play. And then Brecky touched the ball while his foot was on the baseline. So it belongs to the Wolverines. Deadweiler has it. Sean Deadweiler, 6'3", senior. In the lane, shot from Isaiah, no good. Wolverines now one of nine shooting to start this game. You have to give a lot of credit to North Dakota for their defense. I mean, they've got players on the court who are long and athletic, and that's causing the Wolverines some problems. Allard, baseline jumper, no good. Kept alive, back to Allard. He dishes off. Baker trying to take the charge, but... Instead, it's going to be a Wolverine foul against Kevin Woods reaching in, they say. That's going to bring us to another media timeout. Just under 12 minutes to play. Wolverines have yet to get anything going. They're trailing North Dakota 12 to 3. Back in a minute here on the Wolverine Sports Network. We meet here once a week. It's a chance to discuss mostly. I've always been like super concerned about saving money, right? But like I really wanted like a good education too. I guess I really got green fever when like I found out how Utah Valley University can get me both. We have our regulars and of course there are always our new ones every time. I'm Steve. Hi, Hi Steve. Steve. This is my first week here. Uh, I'm really excited. This whole green fever thing's 
kind of just started for me. So. More and more people want to know about Green Fever. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League sports passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! Wolverines trail North Dakota 12 to 3. A reminder, the UVU Alumni Association is proud to sponsor the player of the game tonight. You can support UVU scholarships by ordering a UVU license plate online. Just go to uvualumni.org slash UVU plate. uvualumni.org slash UVU plate. 12 to 3 with 12 minutes to play in the first half. We played eight minutes of basketball, and the Wolverines have three points and only one basket. They're one of nine shooting. North Dakota possession. Shooting camera right. Troy Huff with the basketball. Huff in the lane, gets it back out front. Mitchell, he'll hand it back over to Jamal Webb. Starting lineup back on the floor now for North Dakota. Over to Brandon Brecky. Up top to Mitchell, 16 seconds on the shot clock. Coming up on 11 and a half on the game clock. Shuler will take the baseline drive, cut off there. Picks it back up top. Mitchell tries to feed inside, stolen away. Ben Aird reached in. Two plays like that already for Ben being a ver doing a very nice job as he's going to get called for a double dribble here. Very good call by the referees. Ben took a couple dribbles before he, he stopped and picked up his dribble, but he's done a nice job of reaching over and reading when the pass is going to be coming inside, poking the ball away for a couple early steals. Which Dick Hunsaker wondering what in the world he needs to do to get his team going. 12 to 3, North Dakota with the lead. North Dakota shooting 5 of 13. I mean, they're not tearing it up. They're shooting 38%. It's just the Wolverines are really stinking up the joint right now. Shooting 1 of 9 from the floor. Schuler on the left wing. No shot for him. So he'll work it over to the right side. Jamal Webb kicked by Kevin Woods. So North Dakota will inbound it. Is it just great defense or just poor shooting? Well, I think or it's a both. little. I think a little bit of both, but I think it's more so great defense, and I think a lot of it has to do with the size that North Dakota has. They're causing some problems. Wolverines are getting no easy shot attempts. Mitchell takes a really long three-pointer, missed that one. Wolverines track down the loose ball rebound. T. Thompson into the game. He'll drive to the hole, scoop shot, and it was blocked out of bounds by Mitchell. He saw a lane. He took it. Yeah, Mitchell, you said, leads the conference in block shots. He came over and uh, cleaned that one up there. As we see Keith with a nice, aggressive drive, but Mitchell just read the play. Keith Thompson, 6'6", junior, from Bellflower, California. Doesn't see a lot of minutes, averaging only three points a game. And a foul going to be called inside as the Wolverines were trying to get it in there. This one's going to go against North Dakota against Patrick Mitchell. For Mitchell, it's his first and the team's fifth. So Ben Aird will be at the free throw line, 63% free throw shooter on the season. He was one of the key players before the game. I think the Wolverines need to try and force him the ball inside a little bit when they haven't got much of anything on the perimeter. I think they need to be looking into him and Geddes Robinson here in the game also. I think they're going to need to look to, to get the ball inside because the Wolverines are not getting it done. 0 for 5 from the three-point line so far in the game. I think Ben's going to be their best scoring option with this lineup that they have. He makes them both. 12 to 5. Wolverines still have only scored one basket from the floor. One of 10 shooters. They are two of three from the free throw line. On, on the left wing, that's Webb. Gives over to Schuler. He'll hand it back over to Troy Huff. Huff lit up the Wolverines for 16 points at North Dakota in that first game. 10 seconds to shoot. Schuler dishes off. Layup, no good. Pete Thompson went for the block from behind, and Keith will be called for the foul. His first, that'll be the team's fourth. Yeah, that play was just broken down by beautiful penetration there from Josh Schuler. Got into the middle of the paint. There's nothing that breaks a defense down like a guard coming off a screen, getting in their beautiful read and pass off to Brecky. And Keith Thompson came over a little bit late and had to, had to foul to avoid the easy layup. Brecky's free throw gives North Dakota the 13-5 lead. Fouled in the act of shooting, so 
We'll have another one. Second one from the freshman. Clangs off no good. And UVU comes away with it. 13 to 5. Coming up on the halfway point here in the first half. 10 minutes and five seconds to play. Wolverines have scored one basket. There's their second, Keith Thompson, on the drive. Sweet move there from Keith. He saw a lane open, didn't hesitate at all. He's got long arms, and he has that long jumping ability as well. Just got it right in front of the rim and a nice finger layup. 13 to 7. And a foul inside. I tell you, if they're going to call this one as close as they did in North Dakota, we may end up once again shooting 98 free throws. Yeah, and just as I was talking about previously, how well Ben had done a, a good job of getting around the post, you know, there's one danger with that, and you can foul, and that's exactly what he did there. He was going for the third steal, the third tip away on an entry pass, but gets called for the foul. Ben's first foul, inbounds played. Patrick Mitchell with a nice move. 15 to 7, North Dakota with an eight-point lead over the Wolverines. 9.40 to play first half. And that was a cardinal sin there on an inbounds play as leaving the backside off, off of the inbounds wide open and easy layup. Deadweiler dishes off the air. And Big Ben scores inside. First time the Wolverines have scored on consecutive possessions here in this basketball game. Puff with it. Jumper outside for three, missed it. Deadweiler with the rebound for UVU. Good defensive possession there. I think that the Wolverines will live with giving some three-point shots to some, three, just to some players, and I think Huff is one of those players. Working it inside. Getty's missed it. North Dakota with the rebound. 15 to 9. On the drive, layup rolls around and finally drops through for Huff. 17 to 9. Troy Huff, what a freshman this kid is, averaging 12 points a game. 6-4 out of Milwaukee. And if you took the Wolverines, two true freshmen who start, and South Dakota's freshman, be a heck of a team. There's a freshman missing his. Big Ben missed the hook. Long lead pass intended for Huff, stolen away from the Wolverines. Four on four. Keith Thompson taking it in. He'll shoot two as he was fouled. 8-19 to play. Wolverines trailing 17-9. The junior out of Bellflower, California, will be at the free throw line. You know, I think it's fair to say that he's been an absolute spark coming off the bench here. He's provided great energy, got that layup a couple plays ago, you know, forces the action here in transition and gets to the free throw line. You have to have players. When, when you have your starters and your normal, normal players who do all the scoring, when they don't, do that scoring, you have to have players step up. And I think Kevin Woods has done a nice job filling in for Holden here, as well as Keith coming in and providing that spark and that energy that was much needed for the Wolverines. Makes the first one 17 to 10. Makes them both 17 to 11. Wolverines down by six. You would think watching this game without knowing the score, the Wolverines should be behind like about 20. It feels like about a 20 point lead for North Dakota. Foul this time. No, they're not gonna let them play. That foul going to go against North Dakota. Yeah, there was a Brandon tripping. Brecky, yeah, yeah Brecky got called for a moving screen there as Sean was chasing off of it. Kind of got the legs tangled up there in, a, in an offensive foul. But, you know, the Wolverines have settled in on their defense here. I think they've done a really nice job with the lineups that they put on the court of defending North Dakota. Baker has it, gives it over to Thompson up top. Fake the three, instead goes over to Ben. He'll take the 12-footer. Here come the Wolverines. They're down by just four. After a dismal start, they're now four of 15 shooting, <laughs> which sounds pretty good compared to what they were. Inside, Allard has it. They're working back up top to Anderson. And I believe Allard got fouled. Yeah. Justin Baker ran right over him. Brings us to a, yet another timeout. 7.38 to play. Wolverines down by four. And during this next commercial break, our TV viewers are going to get, get a chance to look at last year's Do the Do at UVU video contest winners back in a minute here on the Wolverine Sports Network. Herman, you're fired. I want you out of here by noon. Do you? No, no, I don't. A raise for my friend Herman. Herman, I can't do this anymore. I want out of this relationship. 
do you? Marry me. Herman, it's not working out. I want you off my team. Do you? Boy, say hello to your new captain. Herman, you suck! Do I? Just seen the winners of last year's Do the Do at UVU video contest. You can visit WolverineGreen.com for details. Submit your video for a chance to win a thousand dollars. Do the Do sponsored by Pepsi. 17-13. Wolverines down by just four. Hard to believe that they trail by only four, shooting 27 percent. Popping up a little moisture on the floor. We'll get this one back underway. Wolverines 4 of 15 shooting from the floor. North Dakota 7 of 18. North Dakota possession. Seven and a half minutes to play in this basketball first half. And I thought it was a turnover, but instead they're going to say a foul on Isaiah Williams holding. As Clausen was making a cut to the basket, Isaiah must have uh, grabbed a hold of him. We're going to take a look here as I bumped into it. Yeah, it looks like Lawson was trying to do somewhat of a backdoor cut. That's one thing that you can do to alleviate pressure. I think the Wolverines have got a much better feel of what North Dakota's trying to do coming off screen, doing those ball handoffs that we've talked about. But how you can combat that if you're an offensive player is that you can do just what Lawson looked to do there, take a back. Uh, you know, if you're going to set the screen, just do a back cut to the basket. Made them both, so it's 19-13 North Dakota. Lob pass inside. Wow, what an alley-oop from Ben Aird to Keith Thompson. And he slammed it behind his back straight down. Maybe the best alley-oop we've seen at the UCCU Center this year. Yeah, great design play there. Sean Deadweiler passed it up to Ben at the top of the key. And just a lovely alley-oop. And Keith Thompson, we talked about his leaping ability, just went up there and got that one and slammed it home. Was it Deadweiler? I called it aired. Yeah, it was Deadweiler passed it to Ben at the key. And then from there, Ben lobbed it up to Keith. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Free throw is missed, so a little luster off the alley-oop crown for Keith Thompson. But the Wolverines down by four, 19-15, coming up on seven minutes left. And North Dakota just throws it out of bounds. Turnover, fighting Sue. All right, one more time, Matt. Yeah, just a, you know, Ben has a great passing ability. We saw it when he plays against his zone. Wolverines like to put him at the free throw line and allow him to make some plays. You know, he has the ability to pass the ball from that angle and just to lob it up to Keith and a great finish. Keith Thompson with the ball in his hand, starts to drive, twisting, fighting for the layup, missed the shot, foul on the rebound, inside, gonna go against North Dakota. Wait for the official to call it. Call it against Jordan Allard. His first, team's ninth. Clock stop, 6.51 to play first half. That's going to put Justin Baker at the free throw line. Yeah, he was in there battling for the offensive rebound. Got great position, and Allard clearly grabbed his jersey and pulled him down as he was trying to go up for the rebound. Baker, the senior from Sacramento, nails the first one. 19-16, Wolverines to within three. This is as close as they've been since it was 3-0. <laughs> North Dakota jumped out in front in this game. 9-0 to start. The Wolverines have clawed their way back to trail by only two with 6.50 to play. First half. 19-17. North Dakota, 39% shooting. Wolverines, 29%. Neither team playing. Lights out. Allard, though, nails the three from way outside. 22-17 now, North Dakota. So Jordan Allard on the year, that's only his 31st. Excuse me, that's only his eighth three-point attempt. Keith 
Steve Thompson. He's feeling his oats. Missed the long three. North Dakota came away with it. And Anderson has it. Starts to drive. Pull up jumper. Missed that one. Tracked down. Save from going out of bounds, but it comes right back to the Wolverines. Isaiah's got it. Lost the handle. Gathers it back. Feeds inside. Thompson off the glass. Good. 22 to 19. Wolverines down by three. 5:45 to play first half. Nothing, nothing like giving you a little bit of energy on the transition game as Isaiah got the ball off of the turnover, pushed the ball up, and once again, Keith Thompson with a wonderful finish. North Dakota shot blocked. Aaron Anderson went up with it. I'm not sure who the Wolverine was who's going to be credited with this block. Ben Aird was there. No, nope. Ben didn't get it. It was Isaiah Williams. All six foot one of them got it. Three point attempt from North Dakota. No, but the Fighting Sioux keep it alive and track it down. Yeah, these offensive rebounds that the Wolverines are getting up are really hurting them. Another offensive rebound here. Webb tried to bounce it inside, went off a of Wolverine's foot. So it belongs to North Dakota underneath their glass. Jordan Swarbrick checks back in, and red hot Keith Thompson will take a seat. You're just listening to this game. You can actually watch it on the internet, uvu.edu slash uvu TV, where you can be watching all the action. They'll get it in to Allard and a whistle. Uh, they're not going to call a foul. They're just going to give it to North Dakota, one off Wolverine player. Uh, this is the second play that we've seen the Wolverines give up on their inbound defense. Just an easy pass right underneath the basket. They've got to do a better job of shoring that up because they don't want to give up those easy weak side layups. North Dakota possession. Jamal Webb with the basketball. 17 seconds on the shot clock. 5.05 on the game clock. Anderson wide open. Long two. 24-19. Wolverines down by five. Wolverines have never or never led in this game. They've trailed by as many as 11. Jumper, Isaiah, corner, no good. Tipped up, weak side. North Dakota controls. Whistle away from the ball this time. Going to be against North Dakota. It's going to go against Doug Archer. He and Swarbrick got a little tangled up. First foul against Archer. Tenth team foul against... North Dakota. Yeah, good call by the official there. That was clearly a moving screen. With all of the screening that North Dakota is doing, you know, th there's an opportunity for those to be called as we're going to see here, uh, them come down with the rebound. But yeah, that was clearly a foul there. Wolverines possession. Deadweiler with it. Gives over to Swarbrick in the corner. Tried to feed inside, almost turned it over. Gathers it back, though. Does work it down low to Baker. He went up for the slam, was blocked from behind. And they're going to call a foul inside. It's going to go against Jordan Allard. Geddes Robinson got the feed, dished it off to Baker. We thought he had time to slam it and room to slam it, but he did not. Yeah, I think the Wolverines, I love watching how they play when their big men get the ball inside. I think when it goes into Justin Baker and to Geddes Robinson or even to Ben Aird, I think they're, they do an incredible job of passing between themselves when they're in the game at short distances. You know, Geddes got that ball, a nice dump off to Justin. Yeah, there's the replay for our TV viewers. Baker missed the first, or made the first one, and makes them both. So it's 24-21. Wolverines back to within three with... Four minutes and ten seconds left in this first half. Very low scoring game. But again, if you watch North Carolina today, both these teams are already outscoring the Tar Heels in the first half. Tar Heels have 21 points in their first half on an upset Saturday around the country. Aaron Anderson with the basketball for North Dakota. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Jumper. Venter. He nailed it. Baseline jumper for two. 26-21. North Dakota by five. Here comes Swarbrick for three. Bouncing around. Wow. He hit the back rim, went up off the glass, and came back down through for the Wolverine crossing three-pointer. Much needed three-point shot there. Good to see the Wolverines getting out in transition. And a foul going to be called against Derek Venter of North Dakota coming down the other way. 
That brings us to another media timeout. 3.27 to play, first half. Wolverines have drawn to within two. Don't go away, this one's starting to heat up. 26-24, back in a minute on the Wolverine Sports Network. I never used to care about college sports. I mean, I go to a game or two, but this is mainly for social reasons, you know? But now things are different. And how has green fever affected your school spirit? Are you kidding me? I never miss a sporting event, home or away. You got NCAA baseball, softball, basketball, cross country, golf, track and field, wrestling, soccer, volleyball. I'm keeping stats. I'm memorizing stats. I'm memorizing numbers. I'm dreaming about numbers. I'm dreaming about Wolverines. I just bought a pet Wolverine. It tore my dad's favorite shoe. It was wicked awesome. And how does that make you feel? Oh. I guess it's it's pretty cool. Me? No, I, I don't play sports. I wouldn't want to make the athletes envious. I don't mess around, man. Wolverines lead, or excuse me, Wolverines trail in this one by just two, 26-24. Appreciate you being with us on our simulcast tonight. Our TV viewers are back. We're waiting for our radio listeners to join us. We'll get back into the action here at the UCCU Center. Remember, fans, Lakita Inn and Suites a special UVU discounted rate, and always wake up on the bright side. Utah Valley trailed nine to nothing to start this game. They didn't score their first basket until six minutes and 15 seconds were gone in the game. Right now, they're only down by two in a very low-scoring first half. 3:20 to play. Wolverines trail at 26-24. Wolverine possession. Baker's got it up top, gives over to Deadweiler. Looking inside. Instead, they give it to Swarbrick. He'll drive into the lane, stop, dish off, turn around, jumper. Baker, no, tipped up, aired, no. Fighting for the rebound. Safe from going out of bounds by North Dakota. And it finally does go out of bounds off Ben Aired of the Wolverines. So it'll be North Dakota ball. You know, a nice execution on the Wolverines offense. That was a play with a lot of movement, a lot of action. You know, ending up with Justin Baker getting it inside just uh, comes up a little bit short on the on the re on the uh, the jump shot there Ben aired nice hustle battling for the rebound he's not able to put back put it back either but you know good play ran there from the Wolverines you can't ask for a better shot than the one Justin had initially or Ben on the follow-up Ben aired six foot nine true freshman from Bountiful Utah had 23 points against North Dakota and he fouled out in that first overtime 26-24, North Dakota with the lead. Just under three minutes to play here, first half. It's been an entertaining first half, even though neither team has played as well as they are capable of. Troy Huff shot inside no, and a whistle going to go against the Wolverines. Deadweiler picks up the foul. His first, team's eighth. Going to put Troy Huff, freshman out of Milwaukee, at the free throw line. Huff, 60% free throw shooter on the season. Freshman from the freshman, front rim no good. Well, you see the foul on the replay on our TV monitors. Looks like Deadwiler got him on the hand after he shot. Huff gets a second one to go down. 27-24. North Dakota with a three-point lead. 235 to play first half. Grenard with it for the Wolverines on the left wing. Up top it goes to Baker. Out of Deadweiler. Out to Swarbrick. He'll jump a three. Partially blocked, I believe, by Troy Huff. Wolverine fans are screaming that he was fouled. That's... If he, what, if he didn't get a hold of the ball, I'm sure he touched the ball because Swarbrick just doesn't miss by 10 feet. Yeah. <laughs> Swarbrick, the best three-point man on the Wolverine team, and a whistle way away from the basketball. I think it's going to be a three-second call. Number four checked into the game, Mike Matheson, and he was standing in the, in the paint waiting for a play to be ran. I believe they called three seconds. 27-24, Wolverines down by three. Two minutes left here in this first half. Justin Baker with the basketball for the Wolverines. Now gives to Swarbrick. To Deadweiler. And a whistle going to go against the Wolverines this time. 
Isaiah Williams. I think we've seen more illegal screens in the first half than we've seen all season. I mean, both teams. I think North Dakota's been called for three. Wolverines get called for that one. You know, they're calling it tight on these screens. Isaiah Williams takes a seat with those two personal fouls replaced by Kevin Woods. Holton Hunsaker, if you joined us late, picked up his second foul at uh, five minutes, five and a half minutes gone in this game. He hasn't played since that mark during the first half. He's their playmaker, leads the team in assists. One of four players averaging in double figures. North Dakota misses and gathers in the loose rebound out front. A minute and a half to play, first half. 27-24, North Dakota by three. Anderson shaking and baking. Shot, no, Baker with the rebound for the Wolverines. Kevin Woods will walk it across midcourt stripe. Set up the Wolverine offense with a minute 12 to play. Swarbrick has it on the left wing. Now to Ben Aird. He's open for three. He'll take it. Got it! You've got to be kidding me! Ben Aird is the best free throw shooter on UVU's team. He's only made, he's only taken three all season, and he's made all three of them. And guess what, folks? After the Wolverines trailed nine to nothing, after they trailed by 11 points a little bit later, they have fought back and it's tied at 27 with 103 to play at first half. Hard not to shoot it. Look how wide open he is. I mean, there's a good 15 feet between him and the next North Dakota player. And if he's got the confidence, he's been playing great. I see no problem <laughs> with that shot. And obviously re the result shows that. What a great, a great shot. Ties up the game here. Ben Aird, nine points. He is the leading scorer for the Wolverines. Keith Thompson off the bench with eight. Sorbrick has four. Isaiah Williams held to just one field goal out of his six shots for two points. Justin Baker uh, with four, and those are the only Wolverines who have scored. Meanwhile, for North Dakota, just about everybody who has scored. Troy Huff with seven. Schuler's got four. Anderson's got five. Ben Aird, true freshman. A lot of schools, a lot of D1 schools wanted him and backed off at the last minute. UVU never backed off, and that's how he ended up here in Orem, Utah. He loves it here, he says. Right now, Utah Valley fans are loving the big Ben Air. Tied at 27. First tie of this game. North Dakota possession. 45 seconds to play. First half, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Webb has it. That's a half. And another whistle, again, going to go against North Dakota. This one against Mike Matheson, 6'10", junior. Yeah, look inside. You see the shove off there on Jordan Swarbrick. Jordan doing a nice job of playing in front of Matheson. And Matheson looked like he got just a little bit frustrated there, tried to create some space and shoved off. Deadweiler on the give and go, lays it up and in. The Wolverines lead for the first time in this basketball game. 29-27. Beautiful play by the Wolverines. We are now shooting 32% for the game compared to North Dakota's 38%. Both teams have hit two threes. Driving inside, six seconds to shoot. Matheson will take a long jumper outside, no good. Kevin Woods with the rebound, launches one, and just missed that rascal from three-quarter length away. And I never would have guessed this score if you to ask me all through the first half who would be leading going into the locker rooms, I would have said North Dakota. They've played great, but it's the Wolverines who lead as the teams head off the court 29-27. Yeah, you know, Jim, if there's one thing that I've learned from playing sports and basketball specifically, you're not going to be able to have your best offensive games every single night, night in and night out. But if you can play good, tough, solid defense, you're going to be in every game. Wolverines gave up 20 points in the last, what, 16 minutes of that of that half? If you can play defense like the Wolverines have done, you're going to, you're going to be fine and be in just about every game you can play in. We'll take a two-minute break. Back with your halftime show. Hey, we're going to talk to uh, Mike Jacobson, who is the athletic director here at Utah Valley, when we get back for our halftime show. Wolverines lead at 29-27. Back in two minutes on the Wolverine Sports Network. The goal of student employment at UVU is to provide quality, professional, and meaningful work experience for students while supporting their overall success at Utah Valley University. 
The UVU Student Employment Office is dedicated to serving students with a variety of meaningful work opportunities as a part of their university experience. Jobs are accessed through the UV Job Board. Positions include hourly on and off campus jobs, internships, federal work study, and the International Student Employment Program. Some of the services we provide are career assessment, internships, and job shadowing. We also offer mentoring services and in interviewing skills, cover letters, networking skills, and job searching skills. The Student Employment Office hosts on-campus graduate school fairs, recruiting fairs, and job fairs in the fall and spring. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League Sports Passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Pepsi. Every generation refreshes the world. By Utah Community Credit Union, a proud sponsor of Wolverine Athletics and the official sponsor of the UVU student section, The Mall. By Pinnacle Security, your life secure. Get a Pinnacle Security system today at PinnacleSecurity.com. And our pregame show brought to you by Costa Vida. Costa Vida, eat well, live inspired. Hard to believe, but the Wolverines are leading at halftime, 29-27. I'm Tim McCullough. Matt Peterson is my uh, analyst. We're back with both TV and radio on our simulcast here from the UCCU Center. Wolverines lead it by two at halftime. I am joined now courtside by UVU Athletic Director Mike Jacobson. And, and I, I was going to talk to you about all sorts of stuff, but you know what? We need to talk about that first half. <laughs> Can you believe the Wolverines are leading at halftime? Hey, that was just a great comeback, you know, to come back down 10 and uh, get back in the game. And it's just uh, another great indication of the great character our kids have and the great coaching that Coach Hunsaker does to get them back there. Now they you, battled hard. You and I had talked earlier this week that tonight was going to be one of those games. Maybe they went four overtimes the first time. Can we handle four overtimes here tonight? Oh, we can handle it. I'm not <laughs> planning on it, though. We're going to win no. in regulation. We're okay. All right. Athletic director at Utah Valley University. There may be some people out there who are watching or listening who don't know doesn't don't know what the athletic director does. You're basically in charge of all the athletic programs on campus, correct? You know, I just, uh, you're correct. I just <laughs> sat back and watch games. That's about all oh, I do. No, no, no. no. <laughs> How are things athletically here at UVU? That's, that's a pretty softball question first. Uh, you know, um, I think athletics at Utah Valley University is in a pretty good place. A really good place, yes. You're so <laughs> humble. This is the guy, folks. This is the guy who has talked about throughout the country as being the only athletic director who has taken a program from junior college all the way to Division I in record-setting time. They've changed the rules, have the, has the NCAA, based on what you have done. So uh, our hat's off to you. Congratulations. All right, now, everybody that talks to me and finds out I have anything to do with UVU athletics, ask me two questions, and I'll ask you so you can answer them. One, is UVU going to join a conference with players or with teams closer to home anytime soon you know that's been our plan uh, for a long time now for the 10 years we've been doing this and uh, we continue to work every single day and literally every day to put ourselves in a position where we're marketable to a, a more regional conference uh, we're very happy with the great west conference it's been a great thing for us you know during this provisional period and uh, we're just happy to be a part of it. Um, I know our fans and uh, our student athletes would rather play in a conference where we've got uh, teams a little closer to home with a little more name recognition and we're not quite on the road so much. And so that's what we're working hard and hoping that something like that happens in the future. Any timeline on that future? Come on. Well, I wish I had a timeline. <laughs> you know, there are some things you have control over and there are some things you don't, you know, and you just do the best you can to position yourself so that you're enticing to, to another conference, somebody that might want you to be a part of them. And we work really hard to do that. And so I would think with all the conference movement and everything that's going on right now that uh, sometime in the near future, we might have that opportunity. Now, you really should pay the electric bill here, by the way. 
<laughs> you know, uh, this green team out here, they do such a great job, and they do it in the dark, and uh, so we're okay with that. It's fun. All right, the second question, and you know what's coming, and it's probably a good thing we're not on camera, so people can't see you uh, stick your tongue out at me on this one. The second question that I'm asked more than any other, really, when is UVU going to start a football team? You know, I don't feel bad for you at all being asked that question. I've been asked it literally every single day now for 28 <laughs> years. And so, uh, <laughs> you know, I, uh, it's a good thing I'm not a betting man because if I was, I would have bet a long time ago that we would be playing football here. and uh, That we would be? That we would be playing football by this time. Absolutely. Really? I would just have thought it would have happened. It's a natural for us. It's uh, something our community would rally behind, something our student students would really enjoy to be a part of. Uh, you know, your schools that uh, are real athletic programs, they have football programs. And so some point in time, we're going to have one. Now, when that time is, uh, I don't know. Uh, we've got a very supportive president, a very supportive student body. And at some point in time, that's going to happen. I just don't know when. Wow. That was not the answer I was expecting. I thought well, you'd give a politically correct, though, you know, maybe I've, one I've, of these I've days. I've given that politically correct answer for many, many years. And I just think it's something we need to do. And, and I think it will happen. Now, I don't know what the timeline is or how long it's going to be, but I think the Wolverines will play football someday. Well, then, okay, then the follow-up question has to be, are some of these potential conference alignment situations for the Wolverines dependent on having a football team? Would we be more attractive had we a football team? I, I would say if we had a football team, we would be in a regional uh, automatic birth conference at this point. Absolutely. Wow. And, of course, the other thing is, where the heck would they play? You if, know, if you in, in, in a football stadium. You know, it would happen. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> you're going to build one or well, you're going to play uh, in the listen, baseball stadium? Listen, or? listen. 27 years ago, we played at the high schools. Every sport we had, we played at the high schools. And look at the facilities we wow. have today. So I don't think that's even an issue. I, I think um, we would have a football stadium to play, and we've got multiple opportunities for that, uh, situations where we could expand different venues that we have now. Uh, uh, that, that's the least of our concerns where we would play. Wow. We're looking forward to the future under your leadership. They're telling well, me we're out of time. but uh, Well, the biggest concern is the money. You know, it's a huge uh, financial impact, and so the money the, is the one thing that holds us back more than anything, especially in, in the climate and financial situations of our society today. But... Uh, Anyway, Athletic Director Mike Jackson, thanks so much for stopping by at halftime. Thanks for inviting me. Anytime, I'd be glad to do it. Well, you, you asked easy questions. I was expecting some really tough ones. Oh, so. my word. All well, right. That's not All right. Bad. A, a week from tonight, come on back. We'll, have, we'll ask the hard ones on our next broadcast. Right, thanks for coming. Good. Thank you. Athletic Director Mike Jacobson. All right. Well, that answers a whole bunch of questions, and there's a whole bunch of people probably shaking their heads going, wow. UBU might just end up with a football team pretty soon. Who knows? Tell you what, we're going to step aside a two-minute break, although our TV viewers are probably enjoying one heck of a halftime show here with the Green Men. They just do a wonderful job, kind of like the, the Blue Man group is what they pattern themselves after, but it's the Green Men here at UBU. Two-minute break. Back with uh, we'll update the stats on your halftime show. Wolverines lead North Dakota 29-27 back in two minutes here on the Wolverine Sports Network. The Woodbury School of Business is a very large school of business and is growing rapidly. We have all kinds of programs. We have programs in accounting, in finance, economics, hospitality management, management, entrepreneurship, and other areas as well. The class sizes are really great. Having 30 students or less is great for students who are trying to interact with their professors and really learn the material. I had a marketing class that actually went out and we did marketing projects for nonprofit organizations. So we're not only helping our community, but we're also getting a really great education. I had the opportunity several months ago to help the Woodbury School of Business with their annual entrepreneurship conference. This experience provided me the opportunity to implement the skills in marketing I've learned while attending the Woodbury School of Business. One of the things that we are most proud of in this Woodbury School of Business is the recent addition of a master's degree program that we've waited so many years for. We are extremely proud to be able to offer this to our students and to other students around the Intermountain West and the world. The AACSB accreditation places the Woodbury School of Business in the top third of business schools in the United States. 
and higher than that worldwide. My advice to students considering the Woodbury School of Business at UVU is to just get involved. There are so many different clubs and organizations and it's a really great way to meet other students that are interested in the things that you're interested in and to really make your college experience very well rounded. My advice to future students would be if you don't want to be another number in a classroom of 300 and you want to be a part of an environment that promotes engaged learning but also innovation and creativity, then the Woodbury School of Business is the place for you. UVU is the place to realize your dreams. We're at halftime at the UCCU Center. Wolverines lead at 29-27. A reminder, Pepsi, proud to be a major sponsor of Utah Valley University Athletics. Pepsi, every generation, refreshes the world. All right, Matt Peterson, the statistics from the first half Really, the only one that's important is 29-27, but the other ones are fun to look at. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, neither team really shooting the ball that well. UVU 35%, North Dakota 37, three-point field goals. You know, as you, you see the stats there, 20% for the Wolverines, 22% for uh, for North Dakota. Blocks, steals, about the same. I think uh, North Dakota's turned the ball over a little bit more probably than they're accustomed to. Wolverines have done a nice job with six turnovers in the first half there. Uh, points in the paint. You know, I, I thought that this maybe would be a larger number than what we have. Of course, I thought that we'd probably have a little bit more scoring than what we do right now. But uh, 10 points in the paint for the Wolverines, 12 points in the paint for North Dakota. And I think it, uh, it's important to note that North Dakota had that and many points in the paint, 12, with about eight minutes left to go in the first half. So the Wolverines have done a nice job of defending the perimeter players of North Dakota, trying to get into the lane, and also very good interior defense. Individual scoring, nobody in double figures for either team. Ben Aired with nine points, Keith Thompson off the bench with eight points in just seven minutes of action. Sorbrick with only four, Isaiah Williams with only two points, Geddes Robinson scoreless in 10 minutes, Holton Hunsaker scoreless. He had two fouls in five minutes of action. And uh, we're looking at highlights from that first half. Yeah, we're going to see highlights here. We, we see a couple really nice defensive plays. I think that Keith Thompson came in and provided a great spark. If I'm the Wolverines, I look at the statistics here. Jordan Swarbrick, I mean, the three top, lead, the three leading scorers for the Wolverines, Jordan Swarbrick, Isaiah, uh, Isaiah Williams, and Holden Hunsaker, you know, four points for Jordan, two points for Isaiah, and zero for Holden. Six. So, I mean, you're going to take a look, and you, you've got to say, well, they had players come in off of the bench and provide great offense to be able to get them back in this game. So uh, if I'm the Wolverines, I'm looking, saying there, there's no way that my three top scorers are going to be held to that many points in the second half. So that's a bright spot going forward. That was Keith Thompson on that alley-oop. Getting a couple of looks at it. Nice play. Keith Thompson, uh, obviously a candidate for the UVU Alumni Association Player of the Game that you will choose in our post-game show immediately after we talk to Coach Dick Hunsaker. But we still got at least 20 more minutes of basketball here at the UCCU Center. And uh, I don't mean to say too much, but let's just say Mike uh, Swarbrick had four points in, the, in regulation up at North Dakota. He had a terrible game. He finished with 24. He had 20 points in overtime. So you pointed out he's only got four points here in the first half. I, I hope we don't go overtimes, you know. I'm not sure my heart could take another four overtime game. But these two teams, they're pretty evenly matched despite the fact that the statistics coming in here were all in favor of UVU. Yeah, and I don't think we're giving enough, and, and I'm not giving enough credit to North Dakota for the way that they yeah. played in the first half. I mean, they came out and played like gangbusters holding the Wolverines to, to the scoring amount that they've had. So, you know, they're not going to go away here in the second half. I want to go back to the one of the keys of the game that we talked about, quality starts. Wolverines did not get off to a quality start in the first half. Uh, there's still this opportunity here to start the second half where they can try and get back in this ball game, play a little bit better than they did in the first half, uh, and I think that's going to be a great advantage for them. But South Dakota is going to put their players out on the court who are ready to go also. Troy Huff leads the scoring attack for North Dakota in that first half, seven points. Uh, Anderson with five, Schuler with four. Allard had three. There's the keys of the game that you talked about in the pregame show. How are we doing so far, Matt? Yeah, I think the Wolverines have done a nice job of their transition defense. They've only given up two points. A quality start, we've talked about the interior play. I think Ben Aird's played very well. Geddes Robinson, I think, is, is going to have to come out and play much better than he did in the uh, in the first half. As far as uh, North Dakota defending the perimeter, they've done an excellent job at that. We talked about how they've held the, the leading scores for the Wolverines to six total points. Their three-point shooting has not been that great. Two of nine 
uh, and they've done a nice job of avoiding fouling. They haven't put the Wolverines on the on the free throw line. Ooh, they do have 11 free throws. Wolverines start possession in the second half. Turnaround jumper from Aird, no good. North Dakota comes away with it. Then Aird, Holton Unsaker, Isaiah Williams, James Robinson, and Jordan Swarbrick on the floor for Utah Valley. Troy Huff, Jamal Webb, Brandon Brecky, Josh Schuler, and Patrick Mitchell for North Dakota. Ben Air comes away with a defensive rebound and a foul going to be called inside against North Dakota. That's Brandon Brecky, the redshirt freshman, his third. North Dakota has five players in that first half pick up two fouls, and now Brecky picks up his third very quickly, and he'll take a seat on the bench. Just as we talked about the keys to the game for North Dakota, avoid fouling. They come out, haven't even played 30 seconds, and they've already got a foul. They, they can't afford to put the Wolverines on the free throw line late in this game. Wolverine possession following that foul. Hunsaker feeds inside to Aird. Low post feed and a whistle. Belongs to North Dakota. I don't know, maybe Ben's foot was on that baseline. The official didn't really see Yeah, Now he does finally signal. But Ben's heel was on the baseline when he caught the pass. Turnover Wolverines. That's turnover number seven for the Wolverines. North Dakota, by the way, turned it over ten times. Drive to the hole, layup good. Wide open lane for Shula. You know, I, I, I'm doing these broadcasts, Jim. I, I hate to sound so repetitive, but, I mean, it's, it's so simple what North Dakota is doing. They are setting screens. That's the second play for North Dakota in this half where they've come out and run Shuler off the screen. That's what they're trying to do. Wolverines can't seem to stop it so far. Gettys Robinson forces his way inside, up and in, his first two points of this game. He only had three against North Dakota in that four overtime game. He did pull down 17 rebounds, but scoring-wise, he wasn't there. Look at Ben Ayer, six foot nine, diving for the basketball. Calls a timeout, laying on his back. Nice defensive hustle by the freshman. Turnover. North Dakota. How many times has he done that in this game? How many times has he reached around, poked the ball away, and come up with a steal? I believe that's his fifth time so far. This, this has been expanded to a 60-second break. We'll take it with him. Back in 60 seconds, Wolverines uh, lead it 31-29 on the Wolverine Sports Network. section and cheer for the mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League sports passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! Wolverines lead at 31-29 here in the second half. A reminder the Utah Army National Guard is the official sponsor of the UVU Athletics Pink with a Purpose Games, raising money for people in need. 18 and a half minutes to play in this basketball contest. Hunsaker way outside for three, and he nails it. Colton Hunsaker, only five minutes in that first half because of foul trouble, comes right out and nails the Wolverine crossing three-pointer. 34-29, Wolverines by five, their biggest lead of the game. Huff shaking and bacon, nice move. 34-31, Wolverines lead is three. 18 minutes to play. And a foul inside on North Dakota. Patrick Mitchell, his third. North Dakota now with two players with three fouls. And that's going to put Isaiah Williams at the free throw line. Isaiah two points in the first half. First trip to the stripe for the nation's 55th best free throw shooter. Makes the first one. It looks like the Wolverines are trying to get him going here. The previous play, they did a post up trying to get Isaiah the ball, and he created some offense. Again, they're going back to him. Isaiah, a wonderful job of driving the baseline there, squaring his shoulders to the, the glass there, 
and going up strong and drawing the foul. You know, that's all, sometimes all it takes, Jim. Get to the free throw line, make a see, see the ball go in, make a make a shot, make a free throw, and then and then you're good to go. Isaiah's got four points, driving easy down the lane. Nice layup from Josh Schuler again. 36-33. That's three plays here in the second half for North Dakota where Schuler has got all the way to the rim. I, I don't know what what defensive assignments the Wolverines have, but they're, they're surely not fulfilling them here. Hunsaker tried to feed it to Aird, got it back. Wolverines working around with 18 seconds on the shot clock. Isaiah pull up jumper right side, no good. Rebound North Dakota. It's Webb with it. Kicks it outside. Schuler, he's got the hot hand. Gives it back over to Webb. Cycling around to the right side. Coming up on 17 minutes left in this game. Troy Huff. Freshman misses. Rebound comes down to Gettys Robinson in UVU. Wolverines nursing a three-point lead. Seven, just under 17 minutes to play here in this game. Hunsaker gives it over to Robinson. He'll drive. Works his way inside. Shot no good. Too far under. Foul on the rebound, though. Going to go against North Dakota. That one is going to go against Derek Minter, 6'7", senior. Getty's just a little too far underneath that one. Yeah, definitely a, a foul there. Getty's does a, a great job of battling in there for the rebound and gets rewarded with the foul. Warbrick with it, feeds inside, and a whistle as Holton Hunsaker hit the deck hard, and another foul going to get called against Derek Minter, North Dakota. Back to back, and that's number four on Derek Benter. Team's fourth in this half. Benter will come out of the game and be replaced by Archer. You know, you know, Jim, when when you've set a good screen, when you end up on your back like Holton did there, because Benter didn't want to fight through it. He tried to go through the screen. I, uh, Holton set a wonderful screen there. Inbounds play comes in to Isaiah Williams. Gives over to Gettys Robinson. Drives in, hesitates, shot block. Rejected big time by North Dakota that time. Eddie's Robinson, by the way, has now broken the UVU single season record with 244 rebounds. North Dakota scores on the putback. It's a one point lead for the Wolverines. 36 35 with 16 minutes, 15 seconds left in the game. We're in regulation. We've talked about it the whole game. Last time they played, it went four overtime. Swarbrick got to Hunsaker. Did not take the three. Now he'll launch up the three. Got it! And he's fouled! Holy smokes! Way outside and Holton Hunsaker, the true freshman. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Had a hand in his face. Fouled by Jamal Webb. Just got him on the hand. Holton Hunsaker at the free throw line. 39-35, Wolverines up by four. Free throw, good. To me, it looked like Colton knew he was coming off that pick, going to shoot the basketball, and it helped him because that, that was a, a confident stroke. Looked like he knew that was good from the minute he jumped into the air. Colton with seven points. Foul going to go against Isaiah Williams. That's going to be number three on Wolverines' leading score on the season. And that'll bring us to a media timeout. Just under 16 minutes to play in this one. Very low score, but very entertaining. 40-35, Wolverines lead by five. Back in a minute here on the Wolverines Sports Network. Bus pass, five dollars. UVU t-shirt, so you can impress the ladies, twenty-five dollars. iPod Nano, one hundred and twenty dollars. A degree from UVU, so you can afford your own car someday. Prices. For everything else, there's student loans. Wolverines lead it by five. 
A reminder of the Utah Community Credit Union is a proud sponsor of the Wolverine Athletics and the official sponsor of the UVU student section, the mall, the mighty athletic Wolverine League. Still nobody on either team in double figures. It's 40-35, very low scoring game. So far, it's been pretty fun to watch, to be honest with you. Yeah, a little bit of back and forth. Uh, we're going to watch here for what defensive adjustments are made by both teams. And both teams came out uh, ready to go in the second half. North Dakota with it. Troy Huff has it in his hands. Goes into the lane, fakes once, lays it up. Oh, Ben Ed with the rebound. Hunsaker across midcourt, driving to the hole, layup, missed it. Gettys Robinson with another rebound. Forces it in, he traveled. I'm pretty sure that'll be the call, yeah. Sort of off balance. Took a couple extra steps. One of the defensive adjustments that I saw on that last possession was, was a switch there. Uh, ben Aird and Jordan Swarbrick were uh, switched as Huff tried to go to the basket. So maybe the Wolverines are going to do a little bit more of that, more switching up top with their big man and with their perimeter players. Jumper outside for three, no good. White jerseys crashing the board. Swarbrick comes away with it for the Wolverines. 15 minutes, 10 seconds left in this game. Wolverines lead by five, 40 to 35. Thanks for being with us on this simulcast tonight, UVU TV viewers, as well as our K-Star radio listeners and internet listeners. Isaiah's three-pointer will not count. A foul inside going to go against Ben Aird first. For Aird, that's number two, and the team's second here in the second half. Yeah, that was that was called as an illegal screen by Ben Air, but that was a, a great screen. The official missed one there. I don't know if we'll be able to see the replay, but Ben was set as Isaiah was coming off of the screen, kind of a double screen set for Isaiah. Unfortunate call there, because uh, Ben was definitely set on that screen. North Dakota possession. Jamal Webb with the ball in his hands, working between the circles. Comes off of Allard's screen, now gives it over to Allard. Looking inside, they feed it inside to Brecky, working against Ben Aird. Shot off the glass, no, and there's the conference's leading rebounder and the UVU all-time single-season record rebounder pulling down another one. Gettys Robinson, Colton Unsick will take the jumper left side, bury another one, it's a two. 42-35, Hunsaker had a lot of time in that first half to think about things. He sat on the bench 15 minutes out of 20 in that first half, and North Dakota wants to take a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep this one here with 14.22 to play. Wolverines with their biggest lead at seven. They're on a 6-0 run, by the way. See the jump shot there from Holton. You can tell he's feeling a little bit. He had that four-point play. Comes down being very aggressive, taking the ball to the rim a couple plays ago, and then that jump shot there, you know, he looks focused. You know, he looks like he's a little bit upset that he wasn't uh, on the floor for most of that first half. If you joined us late, the Wolverines trailed nine to nothing. North Dakota built their lead up to 11 points, led 12 to one, led a couple other times by 11. Wolverines kept chipping away, closed out the first half on a 10 to five run, and the Wolverines led at halftime 29-27. They now have their biggest lead of the game at 7, 42-35. to play. North Dakota possession. Wolverines first place in the Great West Conference. North Dakota on their heels, just a game and a half behind. Driving down, Webb off the glass, no good. Tipped up and in, though. Nice tip that time coming from Mitchell. Yeah, that was one of those plays where Holton and Justin switched on the screen. So Justin was matched up with Webb. Holton had to match up with Mitchell. Size advantage for Mitchell there. Just a nice putback. Swarbrick with the basketball. Gives over to Isaiah. Out there with the three fouls. Now to Swarbrick, deep right corner. He'll jump along with, got it. Swarbrick's six point. Gives the Wolverines a seven point lead again with 13.35 to play. Clausen tried to work it in, went off Swarbrick's foot. So North Dakota will have the basketball baseline. Clock stop, 13.31 to play. Wolverines 44, North Dakota 37. 
a very entertaining college basketball game here at UCCU Center tonight. Anderson lobs it inside to Brecky. Brecky backing in against Baker. Nothing there. Kicks it back up top to Claussen. Ten seconds to shoot. Working on the left side. Driving against Gettys Robinson. Little layup, no. Tipped up, no. Baker cleans the glass for the Wolverines. Wolverines coming out in this second half very strong on the defensive glass. They're not giving up any offensive rebounds uh, as we got the lineup with Gettys and Justin in there. They're doing a great job commanding the defensive glass. Holton Hunsager open for three, faked it, and then did go up and was fouled by Jamal Webb. He'll get three charity tosses. Holton did a nice job on the fake. Saw Webb coming over. And Holton uh, might have got a little Academy Award action on that one, too. Holton Hunsaker had a string of 38 straight free throws snapped the game before last. So he's starting another string. Yeah, a couple nice screens set there by Jordan Swarbrick. Looked like on the first leg, Justin Baker came in, uh, cleaned up the, the second leg of the screen there, giving Holton a, a wide open three three point shot that he could have taken, but threw the foul there on the right. Makes the first two. He's got 11 points. First player. And double figures in this game. Uh, it wasn't much. <laughs> yeah, tough call there for the uh, for the for the referee. Uh, but uh, you know, Holton drew the foul and he's at the free throw line. Third one on its way. Good. I'm telling you what, Swarbrick, Hunsaker, and Williams are just amazing from the strike. Speaking of Swarbrick, he'll take a seat, and here comes Keith Thompson, who had a phenomenal first half. One of those keys to the game, Jim, was to avoid fouling for North Dakota. They've already got six fouls. The next foul on it puts the Wolverines at the one and one uh, for the rest of the rest of the game with 13 minutes left. And the Wolverines lead by 10. What a turnaround. They've trailed by as many as 11. They now lead by 10. We told you in the pregame show, these two teams pretty evenly matched on the floor. Showing it tonight. Anderson baseline drive. A little floater, no good. And a whistle on the rebound as a couple of players hit the deck hard. Whistle is going to go against Keith Thompson of Utah Valley. Keith's second foul, team's third here in this half. Twelve and a half minutes to play. Wolverines looking to hang on to first place in the Great West Conference. We've got two games left in the regular season, both conference. Alley oop on the inbounds play, stolen away by Justin Baker. I think he was trying to get it into Mitchell. Yeah, it looks like they were trying to run a lob play to the middle of the rim, or right in front of the rim there to Mitchell, but Wolverines looked like they knew that play was coming with Justin Baker. Nice job of being aware, stepping right in front of the pass. Hunsaker trying to come off a of Baker screen, nothing there. Instead, gives it over to Gettys Robinson. And he carried the ball. Gettys did not have a good game against North Dakota at their place offensively, other than rebound. I mean, you say, wow, the kid pulled down 17 rebounds. You're saying he had a bad game? Yeah, he only scored three points. This is from a guy who averages 9.1 a game. Tonight, still having a good game on the boards, just not doing much scoring. Two points. He's one of four from the floor. I think the size of North Dakota might be bothering him a little bit because we, I've mentioned a little bit how, how they do have a, a big lineup on the court almost at all times. They don't ever really go small. So I think the length of uh, North Dakota is causing him a little bit of problems. Brecky with it. Feeds Mitchell. Goes in. Turnaround jumper. No good. And Wolverines come away with another rebound. Defensively in the form of Gettys Robinson. But it's certainly not stopping him from defensive rebounding. He's incredible at that. And... Uh, He's got seven. He's got the ball. North Dakota's not even hard to guard Gettys Robinson when he's out that far. 11 and a half minutes to play. Wolverines lead it by 10. Hunsager with it. Works outside, comes off the screen, slides to his left, pull up jumper for three, back rim too hard, rebound North Dakota. Anderson, five foot 10 freshman. Gives it over to Klaassen. Working left side now. That's Schuler with it. We're driving the lane. Keep the roll. Gets it up and in. That stops a little five nothing spurt. The Wolverines were on. 47-39. Wolverines by eight. Schuler doing a really nice job of driving to his right. 
Maybe the Wolverines need to make an adjustment and not let him go right, force him to go left on his drives because he, he can get to the basket just about any time when he's driving right. Got his Robinson with the ball, and I think uh, Nick Hunsaker jumped off the bench and called the timeout. Yep. We'll keep this one here as well. Wolverines lead it 47-39 with 10-40 to play. Been a very impressive first half. Jordan Allard. Allard shot blocked by Ben Ayer. They're going to call a foul on Big Ben. 49-39. Wolverines by 10. Our TV viewers did go away. Missed a, missed a basket by the Wolverines. And now we do come to a media timeout. So we will take a timeout here. 10-22 to play. Wolverines lead by 10. Back in 60 seconds on the Wolverine Sports Network. Think back to when you were a child. What did you dream of becoming as an adult? A pilot? A teacher? A nurse? Maybe a mathematician? A mechanic? Or a scientist? Did you dream about helping others and achieving great things? Now imagine a place where everyone is focused on your success, where ideas flow and dreams are realized. Imagine an education that is personal, engaging, fun, and professional. A place where your professors know you by name and are devoted to your development. With an education from UVU, all of this becomes true. Utah Valley University. It's your dream. It's your university. Wolverines lead this one 49-39. 10-22 to play here at the UCCU Center. I'm Jim McCullough along with Matt Peterson. Thanks for being with us on the simulcast tonight. Waiting for our radio listeners to join us. A reminder, Wolverine Crossing is student living redefined. For student housing information, you can text Wolverine to 47464. Wow, what a game. Wolverines have trailed by as many as 11. They've led by as many as 10, which is what the lead is right now. Holton Hunsaker, 12 points. All of them in the second half, right? Yep. yep. He's the leading scorer in the basketball game. Free throw good from North Dakota's Allard. 49-40, Wolverines lead is down to nine. Second one on its way, this one also good. 49-41. Backcourt pressure. Wolverines known for turning it over quite a number of times. They come in here at 14 turnovers a game. Right now they've got 10 on the game. Swerver's with the basketball down low. Fakes one way, goes the other. Shot blocked out. Safe from going out of bounds. Nice block that time from Patrick Mitchell of North Dakota. And the Fighting Sioux have possession. Well, he, he's the leading shot blocker in the conference for a reason. He does a great job of coming off on, on the weak side to cause problems. And a nice block there on Jordan. Working against Baker. Backing in, fakes left, turn around, jumper right, good. Patrick Mitchell looking pretty good right now for North Dakota. They draw to within six, 49-43. He's got good size. They can get him on the block as they did there. He, he looks a little bit taller than Justin Baker, so he's got that post-up game too. Swarbrick has it on the left wing, feeds inside to Baker, dribbles once, glass, rolls across, tips up, no, follows, no, rebound comes down, North Dakota. 
On the run, North Dakota threw it a little too far that time for Jordan Aller, but he saved it, took a three and missed it. And Wolverines with the rebound. Got a break there because Jordan Aller was wide open, did a great job of running the left wing of the court, got the ball underneath the basket, simply dribbled it out to the three-point line, didn't see anyone there, shot it, but missed it. Wolverines come away with the rebound. Isaiah Williams, a very quiet four points tonight, asking for the basketball from Baker. Gets it back. 8.45 to play in this game. Wolverines lead it by six. Isaiah at the top with seven seconds to shoot. They work it over to Swarbrick. Lob inside, air, hook, good. Little baby hook. Been aired with 13 points. Wolverines lead it by eight. Eight minutes, 22 seconds left in this basketball contest. Schuler jumper, good. What did he do there? Jimmy went to his right, right in the middle of the paint. He seems that every possession he gets, every time he scores, he's dribbling from the left wing into the paint, using his right hand. He does it every single time. Schuler with 12 points, five of nine shooting. The lob it into Ben Aired again and fouled this time from behind. Stops the clock, 8.03 to play. Foul's going to go against Allard, I believe. Yeah. 51-45. Wow. Not much of a foul. But it's going to put Ben Aaron at the free throw line. Seventh team foul. Aired two of two from the stripe. 13 points overall. He's the leading scorer in this game for the Wolverines. Schuler's got 12 for North Dakota. Back-to-back -back plays there. The Wolverines ran specifically designed to get kind of a lob play into Ben Aaron because Ben has, does a great job of posting up. A lot of credit needs to be given, too, to the passer. Jordan Swarbrick does a nice job of lobbing that ball up to, to Ben where he can just catch it and lay it in. Swarbrick second on the team in assist this season. Aaron makes them both. Second one wasn't that pretty, but it looks good on the scoreboard. 53-45. Wolverines out in front, just under eight minutes to play now. Huff with it. At the top of the key, goes back over left side to Webb. Working it inside to Mitchell. 15 seconds to shoot, working against Geddes Robinson. Fadeaway jumper, too hard. Ben aired with another rebound. he has got five rebounds to go along with those 15 points now. Mitchell may be able to shoot over Geddes, but I don't think he's going to be able to back him down. We get a steal here from Webb. On the run, Webb coming back the other way, lays it up, missed the layup, but he was fouled on the way to the hole by Holton Huntsaker. Holton turned it over and then committed the foul back the other way. That brings us to another timeout. This is a media timeout. 7.24 to play. Wolverines lead at 53-45. We'll take a 60-second break. You're listening and watching exclusive coverage of Utah Valley University basketball on the Wolverine Sports Network. CCU Center, Wolverines lead at 53-45. A reminder, Adidas is now the official outfitter of UVU Athletics. To check out Adidas Apparel, go to adidas.com. 53-45. Wolverines led at halftime by just two, 29-27, after trailing in that first half by as many as 11 points. It's Webb at the free throw line for North Dakota. Misses the first of two. Webb's got three points. 
one of three shooting from the stripe. Second one on its way. This one is good. 53-46. Wolverines by seven now. 7.20 to play. Hunsager across the stripe. Guarded by Jamal Webb. Gives her over to Swarbrick. Now to Gettys Robinson on the baseline. Oh, he thought about taking that shot. Gives it to Swarbrick. Drives him in. Shot. No. And North Dakota player flat on his back. He's going to get called for the foul. That's Brecky, and that's number four on Brandon Brecky. Redshirt freshman out of East Grand Forks, Minnesota. Picks up number four. Brecky, only one point tonight. He had 12 points, 15 rebounds in that first matchup between these two teams. That play there for the Wolverines broke down a little bit. Jordan miss another free throw, but that, that play was designed once again to be another law play into, into Ben Aird. Passed it to Geddes on the, uh, on the short corner, and, and Jordan did a nice job of Kind of cutting to the basket, Getty's rewarding him uh, as, as Jordan goes to the free throw line. Swarbrick missed them both. Something is wrong with Jordan Swarbrick. He hasn't missed this many free throws in a game all season. He's one of four. North Dakota with the ball on the mess. Easy twisting layup that time coming from Derek Venter. 53-48. The Wolverines won it at the free throw line in North Dakota. So far, not so tonight, but they do have the lead with 6.38 to play. Isaiah and Holton Hensick are playing a little catch up top. Working against Webb. Stopped away from behind. Holton recovers, gives it over to Williams. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Isaiah drives in, shot blocked that time. Looked like, looked like, I was going to say, Bender got it. Held ball, so. Possession arrow goes North Dakota's way. Schuler, jumper, up top. Man, this kid's good. Schuler's got, is that a three? Yeah, I think they called that a three. And yep, once did. again, Schuler coming off of a screen. I, I can't believe some of the some of the defense that the Wolverines are playing on that. They know what Schuler's looking to do. Holton Hunsaker drives in, misses the shot, fought for the rebound, and it comes down to North Dakota. Schuler with 15 points. Webb drives in, lays it up, and in. It's an 8-0 run right now for North Dakota. Wolverines led it 53-45. It's down to a 53-53 ball game with 5.42 to play. And, of course, Coach Dick Hunsaker not at all pleased about that. He's up off the bench quickly calling a timeout. A reminder, after this game, we'll, caught, we'll talk to Coach Dick Hunsaker immediately after the game. Then we'll take a, a commercial break, come back. Then Matt Peterson will choose the UVU Alumni Association, who is proud to sponsor the player of the game tonight. Fans, you can support UVU scholarships by ordering a UVU license plate online at uvualumni.org slash UVU plate. 53-53, eight nothing run from North Dakota. Wolverines have gone uh, two and a half minutes without scoring. It was 59-59, if I recall, up in North Dakota when the teams began their four overtime march. No, it was 56. 56 all. I think we'll surpass that with 538 to play here. Isaiah wins for three. Bottom! There you go. Isaiah Williams hits his first Wolverine crossing three-pointer. He's one of five, and the Wolverines back out front by three. There's Schuler. Beyond him that time, Webb, another three the other way. We're tied at 56. Wow. If you're a basketball fan, you're loving this. And North Dakota takes a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout. Again, we'll stay here. I'm not going to send it away for fear of missing any of this action. 56-56, 5-18 to play. Yeah, back-to-back three-point shots there. North Dakota with a, with a clear defensive breakdown, leaving Isaiah Williams wide open. 
And we'll see a little bit of a replay here. Looks like Colton Hunsaker got sucked over, kind of trying to come over to, to stop Josh Euler as he's been the main offensive threat, leaving Jamal Webb wide over. You see Holton kind of suck over, attempt to go for a steal on Josh Euler, leaving Webb, Webb wide open for the three-point shot. And you know, Coach Hunsaker definitely not happy or not pleased with Holton there as he got sucked over and, and uh, leaving his man open. So it's an 11-3 run for North Dakota right now. 5.18 to play. We're all tied up at 56. Wolverines with the basketball. With the Hunsaker on the right wing. Up top to air. He'll jump a long one. Front rim no good. Rebound North Dakota. It looked like North Dakota went into a, a zone there. It looked like they almost were in a 3-2 in a or some type of a, of a hybrid zone there to throw the Wolverines out of motion. Schuler dishes off. Drive from Mitchell. Layup good. 58-56. North Dakota back out in front. That's their first lead of the second half. Last time they led, it was 27-24 in the first half. Four and a half minutes left in regulation. You see this zone. It's a 3-2 zone. Wolverines have to make an adjustment. This is definitely throwing the Wolverines out of their rhythm. Inside, Ben Aird scores. He ties it at 58. Aird with 17 points tonight. He had a career-high 23 against North Dakota the first time. 4-10 to play. Baseline drive, layup, good. This one coming from Jamal Webb. 60, 58, North Dakota by two. Whale of a game here in Orem, Utah tonight. Isaiah Williams, Hunsaker, Swarbrick now. Over to Williams. To me, like, not sure exactly what to do with this zone. Isaiah will take a jumper outside. No good, rebound North Dakota. Yeah, tough shot there. I think actually North Dakota switched it up a little bit there and tried to go back to a man. It's up to the point guard, in this case, Holton, to decide what type of defense is being played. And a three-pointer coming the other way. Jamal Webb, 63-58. North Dakota just on fire. Three minutes and ten seconds left. Yetis Robinson has it. Gives over to Holton Hunsaker on the right wing. 15 seconds to shoot. Yetis Robinson doesn't want anything to do with that ball out there. Holton Hunsaker will shot. No good. Yetis Robinson does get the rebound inside. Back up and in. That's where he's comfortable. 63, or excuse me, 63-60. 2.46 left. Wolverines down by three. Great West Conference action at its best here. Wolverines currently in first place. North Dakota in third place, just a game and a half back. Watch this play, Jim. Another high screen for Schuler. He'll take the jumper. He missed that one and Ben Air with a rebound. Two minutes and 15 seconds left on the game clock. Wolverines are down by three. Hunsaker with it for the Wolverines. Goes over to Swarbrick. He'll drive. Dish out to Hunsaker. Wide open. Here's a three. Bottom! We're tied again at 63 this time. Two minutes to play. Webb over to Huff. Driving against Swarbrick. All over him, and the foul finally going to be called against Jordan Swarbrick. Stops the clock a minute 48 to play. Yeah, that was a great read there from Huff. Wolverine so used to going into the screen, Huff took it away and, and got to the basket. Here's Holton Hunsaker's three-pointer. It takes us to our media timeout. A minute 48 to play. We're tied at 63. Back in one minute on the Wolverine Sports Network. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League Sports Passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. 
Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! of this game, Utah Valley 8-1 in the Great West Conference. North Dakota 5-2 in conference play. North Dakota really needs to win this one to have a shot at the regular season championship and that number one seed going into the conference tournament. Right now we got a minute 48 left. We're tied at 63. There's the foul on Swarbrick. It'll be the freshman, Troy Huff, at the free throw line. Huff so far, nine points. He's one of two from the strike in this game. First one. No good. He missed it. He's got another one and fouled in the act of shooting. Second one, it's good. 64-63, North Dakota by one. Clock rolls, a minute 45 left. Hunsaker across the stripe, guarded by Webb. Looking for up, gets it to Swarbrick. He back it out of there. Down to Isaiah, looking to dish off, slapped away out of bounds, it'll belong to the Wolverines. A minute 32 to play, 19 seconds on the shot clock. 64-63, Wolverines down by one. Swarbrick will trigger baseline. Left side of the Wolverines. Glass gets it into Gettys Robinson. He'll hand it over to Hunsaker. Goes to the right, comes back to the left. Eight seconds to shoot, looks for help. Swarbrick fakes it, he'll drive in. Little hook, running hook, no good. Rebound pulled out of the air by North Dakota. A minute 10 to play, North Dakota with a one-point lead and possession. Josh Shuler stands near midcourt directing traffic, watching the clock burn under a minute now with 18 seconds on the shot clock. Still directing traffic. Trying to set up another screen. Isaiah, on him, dishes off, outside. Two seconds to shoot. They'll launch a long one. No good. Ball goes out of bounds. It will belong to the Wolverines with 38.8 seconds to play. Wolverines down by one. There's a 3.8 second differential, so the Wolverines will have to shoot before that final buzzer goes off. My wish of an exciting game is coming true here, Jim. I mean, the Wolverines... Uh, obviously the critical possession here interesting to see if they try to go inside to Ben Aird or if they're trying to get gonna get Isaiah Williams on uh, on an ISO play Isaiah has it over to Hunsaker 22 seconds to shoot Wolverines down by one Hunsaker starts to drive stops kicks outside to Gettys Robinson he'll drive dish over to Aird lay it down he slammed that rascal home Wolverines lead 15 seconds to play and a timeout on the floor North Dakota calls the timeout with 14.7 to play. Ben Aird. I thought he was going to go off the glass. I thought he was just going to softly lay it up. Then all of a sudden, he was up there and slammed it home. With the right hand, with authority, 65-64. Wolverines out in front. Terrific pass here. Watch this. Getty sees the double team coming over, splits the defense there. Unbelievable pass, unbelievable awareness. We talked about earlier in the game how the passing between the big men. I mean, watch this, Jim. Right between the two defenders. Great catch there from Ben going up for the dunk. Ah, amazing play there from Gettys Robinson and a great finish from Ben Air. It looked early in this game like North Dakota was going to run away with it. They led 9-0. They led 12-1. to 
Then the Wolverines came out of nowhere to lead at halftime, 29-27. Wolverines pushed their lead in the second half to as many as 10 several times. But with 14.7 to play, it's just a one-point Wolverine lead as they have come from behind. They lead at 65-64. It just doesn't get much better than this. Division I college basketball at its finest. North Dakota will have it. They can win it with a two or a three. 14.7 to play. Mitchell will trigger in right in front of us at midcourt. Looking for help. Finally gets it into Webb. Clock starts to roll. Webb slides to his left, guarded by Sean Deadweiler. Gives it over to Schuler. Schuler starts to drive. Six seconds. He throws up a prayer. No, but a whistle. A foul. It's going to go against the Wolverines. Clock stopped. Five seconds to play. That foul against Isaiah Williams. Our TV viewers are seeing the replay now. Got him with the body. Josh Schuler at the line. He's got 15 points, but this is his first free throw of the night. On its way, no good. He's got another one coming. Wolverines lead by one, 65-64. Sorry, Jim, Wolverines have to box out here. You know, if, if it's gonna be a miss, the Wolverines have to come down with the rebound. They can't give up an offensive, offensive rebound in this situation. Schuler looking to tie this thing with five seconds left. On its way, no good, and aired with the rebound. Wolverines have it. Three seconds, and Isaiah is fouled at midcourt. Josh Schuler having a phenomenal game. 15 points. And he goes to the free throw line. He only averages 9.6 a game. Redshirt freshman from Ohio at the free throw line for two with five seconds left, and he misses them both. Ben Aird pulls down the rebound, and the Wolverines have it. Isaiah Williams at the stripe the other end. Isaiah, a horrible scoring night, seven points, but he's two of two from the free throw line. And another timeout called, we're keeping this one here. I'm not going away, we're not going away, don't you dare go away. 65-64. Isaiah Williams, it's a one and one. On the season, Isaiah, 85% free throw shooter. Out of 4,100 Division I college basketball players, he's number 55, ranked 55 from the free throw line on the season. Swarbrick has gone ice cold in this game from the stripe. He's their leading free throw shooter, so Holton Unsaker and Isaiah Williams, you want one of them at the stripe, and it's going to be Isaiah. The junior transfer played at the College of Eastern Utah. 30 points in the game against North Dakota. Last time, tonight, just a measly seven. But the biggest points of the night for Isaiah coming up here from the stripe with 3.1 seconds left. Yeah, and, and likewise, you don't want to get an offensive foul here if you're the Wolverines going for a rebound if Isaiah were to miss. Takes a long look on its way. Good. It's a two-point lead for Utah Valley. 66-64. He'll have another one. Isaiah well below his season average. He's got eight points tonight. Second one on its way. Good. It's a three-point Wolverine lead, and now North Dakota wants to set up with a timeout their last play. 3.1 seconds. They got to shoot a three to tie. The Wolverines obviously defend the three. You have a chance of fouling the three-point or three-point shot. And if it goes in, you put the guy at the line to win it. Yeah. Now, uh, North Dakota's going to have a lot of options here because, you know, three seconds, you can get the ball inbounded around half court, maybe take one or two dribbles. I think that the Wolverines are going to sub in Rory here. Rory Fan and the tall player, the tallest player that the Wolverines have, put him on the inbounder, get him as get his hands up and as, as high in the air as possible to distract the passer. But you know, Wolverines have to be careful not to foul. 
but but play good defense because like I said plenty of time here for North Dakota if they can advance the ball somewhere around half court well, they'll have a good opportunity at a, at a three-point shot they may try and just throw it long also Isaiah Williams Sean Deadweiler Jordan Schwarbeck Keith Thompson and Rory Fannin on the floor for the Wolverines. 3.1 seconds. Wolverines lead by three. North Dakota has to come the length of the floor. They have to get it in and launch a three to tie. Jordan Allard will do the honors. He fakes it, gets it into Webb at midcourt. One second. Jumper. Mitchell, top of the key, missed it. Ball game is over. The Wolverines in a phenomenal comeback they win it 67 64 the wolverines now 17 and 10 on the season nine and one in conference play meanwhile north dakota they're out of contention for that number one seed they fall to five and three in conference play 13 and 12 overall what a college basketball game here in orem utah they had a chance. Mitchell's shot was just off the mark as the buzzer expired. Ben Aird, 19 points. Holton Hunsaker, 15. They're the two Wolverines in double figures. Three players for North Dakota in double figures, led by Josh Schuler's 15. Webb had 14, and Troy Huff with 10. What a, what a finish. What a college basketball game. We are joined now. Here's the replay on that. Uh, Final shot, had a good look at it, did Patrick Mitchell. <laughs> ah, balance jumper, that's Coach Dick Hunsaker who's joined us. You know, good defensive play right there. Congratulations, Coach, on another victory uh, and another amazing game here at the UCC Center against a great West Conference opponent. Your opinions on this one? I've been talking my opinions all night. I'm sure the fans want to hear from you now. Well, I knew this was going to be really a difficult game. They're coming off what they proclaim the greatest Division I win. They beat La Tech. La Tech, to them, was, was uh, the Pac-10 wins that we've had over Arizona State and Oregon State. The next time my teams were freaking flying, I knew they'd be flying. They had tremendous effort. They're still filling the raft of the four overtime game. And I just knew they'd come out, and they're a tough group of kids that play hard. I have a lot of admiration and respect for the way they play, how hard they play. And uh, we're able to rally in the first half behind the bench. The second half, Holton came out, was sensational. Yet he has a tendency sometimes, and I, I don't know why he likes to make things difficult, but he made a couple errors late in the game defensively. We missed some opportunities that could have maybe made us a little bit better, had a better, more comfortable cushion. But it turns out we had some big shots, some big plays. Uh, Holton is the shot that ties it. It looks like we're, we're you know. Yeah. And, and Ben Aird had a heck of a game inside. Ben Aird had a heck of a game. Ben Aird. Wow. Ben Aird did a, did a wonderful job for us as two freshmen, our two winners. And um, I, I throw Isaiah Williams in that group, too. He's a definitely a big winner, and Gettys came out in the second half with tremendous uh, uh, energy, and we had it, got that from Baker in the first half, didn't get in the second half. But uh, this was a championship-level ball game, and uh, I was very proud and pleased the way we played. Thank you. Congratulations, Coach. Wolverines win at 67-64. Coach Dick Hunsaker, as you can imagine, in a hurry to get to the locker room to talk to his team. I tell you what, we're going to step aside for a 60-second break. We'll be back in 60 seconds to go over the final stat sheets and then uh, Matt Peterson will name our UVU Alumni Association player of the game and uh, I think I know who this one's going to be but we'll find out in 60 seconds. Wolverines win it 67-64 back in a minute here on the Wolverine Sports Network. Situated just 45 minutes south of Salt Lake City, UVU is located at the foot of the scenic Wasatch Mountains in Orem, Utah. Within 20 miles of campus, students enjoy access to year-round outdoor recreation. Utah Valley is also home to a vibrant local arts and music scene. Many students choose UVU for access to a dynamic economy, employment, and career opportunities. This was a nail-biter, 
67-64. A heck of a college basketball game here at the UCCU Center. Simulcast tonight. Our TV viewers are already back. We're waiting for our radio listeners to get back. Wolverines shoot 40% on the game. Meanwhile, North Dakota, 45%. Heck of a college basketball game. Wolverines win it 67-64. Uh, let's check out some team stats, Matt Peterson, and then, uh, then we'll go over the individual stats. Our TV viewers can see the stats up on the monitor now, and our radio listeners will just fill you in as, uh, as they come up. I'll let you take it from here. Yeah, taking a look here, one, one of the stats that we talked about, free throw percentage. Wolverines did a great job from the line, 83%. North Dakota struggled uh, 50, uh, 56%. Obviously, those those last two free throws uh, were the key by Schuler there in the miss. Wolverines 16 assists, North Dakota 8. Wolverines were out-rebounded 36 to 32 and outshot from the field 40, 45% from North Dakota and about 40% for the Wolverines. Wolverines slide edge and three-point field goal and uh, one one edge there, one, uh, one additional steal for the Wolverines. So, you know, we talked about beforehand how these teams statistically, they didn't really match up. And I think those those stats that we just take a look at, I think they, they bear that out also. Uh, but it was a close game, and what an exciting game and, and a great win for the Wolverines and, and great effort from North Dakota as well. And uh, I just checked the score on the Internet. NJIT won their game in overtime against Texas Pan Am 65-63. So... The Wolverines in first place in the conference at 9-1. and one. NJIT still at 7-1. and one. All right, individual scoring. Let me go over that real quickly. Two players in double figures for the Wolverines. They're led in scoring by Ben Ayers, 19 points, 7 rebounds. Holton Hunsaker, 15 points, 2 assists. He only had 25 minutes of action because of those two personal fouls there early in the first half. They were the two players in double figures for the Wolverines. Keith Thompson off the bench, 8 points in 9 minutes. Jordan Swarbrick, just 6 points, but 5 big assists and 4 rebounds. Gettys Robinson, four points, eight rebounds. He's now UVU's all-time leading record holder for rebounds in a season. Isaiah Williams did finish with nine points, four of four from the free throw line, uh, and some crucial free throws at that. Justin Baker, four points off the bench. Sean Deadweiler, two points. Kevin Woods played, uh, did not score. Rory Fannin played a, a minute or so, did not score. Meanwhile, North Dakota led uh, in scoring by Josh Schuler. We talked about him, 15 points, 0 for 2 from the free throw line for Josh Schuler. Meanwhile, Jamal Webb, 14 points. Troy Huff, 10 points. Mitchell had six. Allard had five. Anderson had five. Venter, four. Archer, two. Claussen, two. And Brandon Brecky, one. Wolverines uh, outscore them or outshoot them 40%. Or no, I'm sorry. North Dakota outshot them 45% to 40%. You already went over that. So now, all that out of the way, your choice for UVU Alumni Association Player of the Game. Well, I want to talk about three players here. Um, I think that, you know, Holton obviously not playing in the first half, coming back in the second half with 15 points was very big for the Wolverines. Keith Thompson, I think he kept them in the game in the first half. Eight points. Yeah. You know, he played very well offensively and defensively. But the player of the game has to be Ben Aird, back-to-back -back winner, 19 points, seven rebounds, two steals, one block. He just did it all tonight. We see his three-point shot here. <laughs> I think he was, you know, he just did an awesome job for the Wolverines on both ends of the court. And uh, I, to me, he was the clear player of the game tonight. You know, on that, that last dunk there, they kind of put him over the edge in the game. Uh, great game from Ben. Wow. Nice, uh, nice highlight package put together by our digital media staff here. Uh, all the guys running camera, board, operators, audio, everything. They're just students here at UVU in their digital media department doing a good job. I think this is only their fourth game together this semester. Nice job. Utah Valley now leading the conference standings at 9-1. and one. That's their conference record. NJIT with their victory tonight. They moved to 7-1. and one. North Dakota at 5-3. and three. And then you got four teams uh, below those guys. So it's basically turned into a two-team race now for the number one seed in the regular season championship between Utah Valley and NJIT. And guess what? Utah Valley and NJIT play the last game of the season. Wow, what a game here tonight. Wolverines win it 67-64. This simulcast produced by students from the UVU Digital Media Program, executive producers of Dennis Lisenby and Ryan Johnson. Tonight's game produced by Jordan Nash. Wolverines' next game comes your way a week from tonight here at the UCCU Center. Wolverines will be hosting Houston Baptist, 7 o'clock tip here at the UCCU Center. Then the following week on the road, Thursday night at NJIT. Two games left in the Wolverines' regular season, and then, of course, they'll be hosting the Great West Conference Tournament right here. This has been a copyrighted production of Utah Valley University and the Wolverines Sports Network. For Matt Peterson, I'm Jim McCullough. 
saying so long. I really am from Orem, Utah. Good night.